What was the new money rock star impulse purchase that you look back now like, really? Well, let me, <laughs> tell me tell the story in reverse. I bought a car. It was used, okay, and it happened to be a Mercedes-Benz. <laughs> okay. Spin Magazine, circa 94, actually printed a blurb that was making fun of me for driving a used Mercedes because alternative rock people didn't drive fancy cars. Now think of the world we live in today. That was the world I lived in where they made fun of me for driving a used car. <laughs> but the story goes as I walked into the local uh, Mercedes dealership and I said, um, you know, kind of show me what you have. And the guy, uh, I've obviously settled on this car, and it was something like sixty-four thousand dollars, something like that. It was expensive, but it, I mean, at that point, it was felt like a million dollars to me, um, and it still is a lot. Um, and the guy said, uh, "How are you going to pay for this?" And I said, "Cash." <laughs> and I literally came back the next day with sixty-four thousand dollars in cash. And it was like, you know, I mean, I I did the trip. And at the time, looking like you, too. I can only imagine the look on his face. Yeah, and, I, and if, like five years later, I did the exact same thing in, at the Ferrari dealership in Be <laughs> Beverly Hills, and it was a lot more money. Same, same routine, though, cash. I'd like a blue one, too. Yeah, this, yeah, exactly. I need something more conservative for church on Sunday. Marilyn so Manson actually uh, still talks about me taking him in that Ferrari down the hole and drive and making him so sick he threw up. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite the accomplishment.